Okay, the first thing you're gonna want to do is glue this to your piece of paper. Um, this is gonna help you practice creating many values from many different colors. Um, so first you wanna put your name on your paper. Now I'm ready to get started. A tint is when you add white to a color to make it appear lighter. A shade is when you add black to a color or hue to make it appear darker. Oops. And a tone is when you add gray, which is um, white plus black and you will end up getting gray. And this should dull or darken your color. Um, but we'll see what happens. It really just depends on the ratio, the amount of white versus black, because it could dull it, it, but it could make it lighter or darker depending on what you have more of, either white or black. So now I have a cup of water, I have a painter's palette, um, and you, for this part of the lesson, have white, black, and one color. Um, so to get started, I am going to use my paintbrush to create a tint. So I'm going, I don't need to get the brush wet at all because we're using tempera and acrylic paint for this project. So it's thick, it's not like watercolor. So I'm going to dip my brush, just the tip, into an empty well, or into the paint and then an empty well, and then I'm gonna clean my brush completely. At the bottom of the cup, I'm gonna wipe it on the side of my cup. You'll want to dry your brush for this process, so I would get a paper towel so you can dry it. You can also squeeze it with your fingers. If you're Bob Ross, you can smack it on the easel, but we are not Bob Ross in here, so we're gonna use a paper towel. Then I'm going to add a little bit of white and mix them together. You're gonna to mix it all the way and remember you're using just the tip of the brush. When I'm happy with that color, I'm gonna paint it in this first section here. The next color I'm going to make is going to be even lighter. So I'm gonna get more paint. I'm gonna clean my brush because I'm gonna get white. I don't wanna ruin my white. Dry it off and get even more white this time to mix it up. So they should look different enough. If you notice it's not, you can mix straight onto your artwork or you can remix your color. If you're looking at the palette and you realize it's not light enough, clean your brush and then get more white. Mix it up all the way. I like to spin my brush to get off the extra paint and scrape it on the side. Oops. Can't make art without making some happy accidents here and there. All right, so now that I've completed the tint portion, I'm ready to make tones where I add white and black. Since this magenta has white in it already, I'm gonna save some space and some time and just take a teeny tiny bit of black and mix it into the color I've already created. So white, black, and magenta is gonna give me my first tone. When you're painting, make sure that you use the tip of the brush. That's gonna give you the most control over what you are painting and where you're painting it. Um, so I could make darker tones and go from light to dark, or I could make lighter tones and go from dark to light, but this doesn't have to be in order. If you wanna challenge yourself, try to make it in order, either darkest to lightest or lightest to darkest for all of these, but it's not a requirement. Once again, I'm gonna put some white back into that same area. I'm gonna add some more magenta because I don't have much paint here. Clean my brush again and some black, but just a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix it up. Now 
You want to practice applying the paint uh, thin, but not too thin, and thick, but not too thick. The main point here is to make sure that it's even all the way across the area you're painting. And last, I'm gonna make a shade. Now this time I can't save time and space or area on my painter's palette because this one can only have black and your main color. So I'm gonna start a whole new one. This time I'm gonna start with the black first since that is a really strong and bold pigment. And it looks like I already have some black in the middle of my painter's palette because I accidentally got too much on the last time and I wiped it off there. So I'm just gonna mix it here. That's a really, really dark shade, but I'm gonna go with it. If you notice your paint looks really thin, that means that you have too much water on your brush. So get a paper towel and dry your brush. This is not like watercolor. We want to apply it nice and thick, but not so thick that it rips a hole in your paper. Okay? my brush again I'm going to add more of my base color or my hue that I'm starting with since I already have black down you're going to be tempted to want to add white here to lighten it up but remember that would be a tone not a shade because a tone has white and black or gray and a shade just has black so to lighten up a shade you just add the hue or color that you started with. You're gonna be responsible for including tints, tones, and shades in your artwork. So this is good practice.